Hello and welcome back to SciTai Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very relaxing RGB LED crystal hard drive with using an ATtiny85 microcontroller. Let's get started. <laughs> are the items that you're going to need to make for this project. The items you're going to need is a 3 volt button cell battery holder, a 3 volt button cell battery, an AT Tiny 85 microcontroller, an 8 pin IC socket holder, an RGB LED common cathode, a push button lock switch, a perf board which will hold the entire circuit, and some wire which will also wire the circuit. And what you're also going to need is this quartz crystal which will add to the decoration of the circuit along with this hard drive. Now, let's go ahead and assemble this project and let's get started. First, I'm going to take the 8 pin IC socket holder and place it into the perf board. Clamp it down. Solder in the first pin. And now press it down with my finger and remelt that solder so that way that it could be flush with the board. And once you've done that, solder in the rest of the pins. Next, I want to take this push button lock switch and I want to place it next to pin 8. So then that way I can turn the circuit on and off. And now solder it into place and then solder bridge one of the pins of the push button lock switch over to pin 8. There we go, solder bridged just like this. Next, I'm going to do the 3 volt button cell battery holder where this side's positive and this side's negative, and I want to take this positive and connect it right next to the push button lock switch. Place it in just like this. Solder it into place. And then take a bridge wire and solder it to the positive terminal of the 3V button cell battery holder and then solder bridge it over to the push button lock switch. And there we go, solder it into place. And now, cut off the excess. Next, I'm going to take this negative wire and solder it to the negative terminal of the 3V button cell battery holder and then connect it over to pin 4. And there we go, pin 4 is now grounded. Next, I'm going to take the RGB LED, and I want to connect it to the circuit. This longer lead right here is the cathode, and I want to connect that to pin 4. And the shorter leads are the anodes, and I want to connect all of the anodes over to pin 7, 6, and 5. And now, I'm going to take the RGB LED and place it into the perf board. I want to place it right here into the corner to make sure I can separate the pins properly. Place it in just like this. Carefully place the RGB LED into the perf board and don't push all the way through. I need the LED to be able to stick out far enough to be able to reach the hard drive and to be able to place the ATtiny85 microcontroller. There we go, just like this, and solder it into place. And there we go, just like this, and I'm going to take the first anode and bend it over to pin 5. Solder it into place and solder bridge it to pin 5. And cut off the excess. And there, the first anode is connected to pin 5. And now I'm going to take the second anode and bend it over to pin 6. Solder bridge it to pin 6. And cut off the excess. And I'll take the third anode and connect it to pin 7. Solder bridge it to pin 7. And cut off the excess. Now I have right here the cathode lead. I want to bend it over in this direction. Put a little bit of solder so it stays in place better. Bend over the lead again. And have it pointing over to pin 4. Take a bridge wire, solder it to pin 4 and connect it to the cathode. 
and there, the cathode is now connected to the common ground. Bend over that lead, cut off the excess, and there, that cleans up the circuit better, and add a little bit more solder, so that way it stays in better. There, just like that. Next, I'm going to take the ATtiny 85 microcontroller and the 3 volt pin cell battery, connect them both into the circuit. And there you have it, the circuit is now complete. Now, let's go test it out. And there, the LED works. The code to this ATtiny is in the link in the description below. And now, it's time to work on this hard drive. I'm going to take this Torx 6 bit to be able to open up the screws that is on this hard drive. Open it up just like this. And of course, in all hard drives, there is a hidden screw. So we're going to undo the screw, remove the paper, undo the screw, and there. Now I can be able to open up the hard drive. And this right here is the inside of the hard drive. What I want to do right here is remove this motor bit to be able to place the crystal on top and to be able to have the LED light to shine through. And in order to make this crystal glow with the LED, I'm going to need to do some modifications to this hard drive. I'm going to go and wear some gloves, press down on the hard drive so that way I don't make any fingerprints on the hard drive. And I'm going to take my screwdriver and remove that T6 screw and to hold down the hard drive platter so nothing moves. And now, remove the hard disk platter and place it somewhere clean so that way the hard drive platter stays shiny. And now, it's time to make some modifications to this hard drive. I have right here my drill bit and I'm going to drill a hole into the hard drive. And the diameter of this drill bit is the right size for the LED. Well, apparently this is very stubborn. As you can see, I broke my drill bit trying to do it. So I'm going to try and go to a brute force method and take my hole punch and just punch it several times and then drill again. steel bearing. That should help. This little steel holder, I'm not really sure what to call it, but this little thing that was inside. Good. That's a good start. Still move? Kind of. Alright, so now I should be able to drill through that. side first. There. Made it through. Oh boy. That's messy. Ah uh, yeah, definitely made it through. Hmm. I think I avoided the warranty of this hard drive. <laughs> LOL. Okay. And there. Perfect. I got a whole drive. Exactly what I wanted. Now I'm going to go and clean this up, and then reassemble everything and go on to the next step. Next, I'm going to take these standoff leads and these M3 screws, and I'm going to connect them together. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of super glue and put it onto the nylon standoff. And then take the M3 screw, place it on top, just like this. Spray some activator. And now repeat the same process three more times. And there, you should have something that looks like this. Next, I'm going to take these modified standoff leads and connect it to the hard drive. And there we go, should look just like this. Unfortunately, it's a little bit too tall for the circuit, so I'm going to need to shorten those nylon leads. I'm going to take the LED, place it into the hole of the hard drive, and then get a rough estimate of how much I need to cut off these standoff leads. This right here looks about right. Make a little mark. 
Next, take the modified standoff lead, put it into my vise, and then take the hacksaw and cut it to size. And there we go, she'll look just like this. And now, do the same thing three more times. And there, she'll look just like this. And now I'll screw them back into place. And there, she'll look just like this. Next, I'm going to take these four neodymium magnets and place them onto the standoff leads. Put a little bit of super glue on each standoff lead. And take each neodymium magnet and put it onto the glued part. Spray some activator. Since this plate is a conductive surface and these leads are also conductive, it'll cause a short circuit that looks like this. So what I need to do is I need to insulate the circuit by putting some hot glue onto the circuit. Doing that will protect the circuit from short circuiting. And there you have it, the circuit is now insulated. Place it on and there, no short circuits. And now I'm going to take the modified hard drive and place it on top where the LED is going to go through that hole. There we go, just like that, and perfect fit. Next, I'm going to take the hard drive platter and put it back into place. Before I do that, I'm going to put a generous amount of hot glue on top of the hard drive to be able to glue down the hard drive platter. So that way the hard drive platter stays in permanently. And there, it should look just like this. And now, let's go test out this project. Turn on the circuit. There we go, just like that. And now, take the white quartz crystal and place it on top. Oh, unfortunately, the LED is sticking out too far. So, I'm going to need to modify this a little bit. And the modifications that I made is I added four more Neo Dominion magnets. By doing this, we'll allow the hard drive to raise up a little bit more, which will cause that LED to be flush with that hole. And now I can place a crystal on top, which will cause the crystal to stand up straight. So now, let's go turn on the circuit. Place the crystal on top. And there, it should look just like this. Now, let's see how this looks in the dark. Ah, this looks very beautiful in the dark. Very relaxing and very mesmerizing. And there you have it. This project is now complete. Now you know how to make your very own relaxing RGB LED crystal hard drive with using an 80 tiny 85 microcontroller. And there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTiTech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTiTech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.